friends, welcome back to my channel. Are you new to my channel? Please don't forget to like this video and also don't leave without subscribing. In today's video, I'll be telling you 15 feminine hygiene tips you need to know that will benefit your life, your lifestyle, and make you smell fresh than day. This 15 feminine hygiene tips is very, very important, and every woman should take note of it. It's very, very important. And uh, because it will make you love yourself more and have high self-esteem. And I want you to I want you to know that every woman has this natural orthodontic. We are different. We all are different. So don't feel that you're smelling bad. No, no one smells bad. Just that we have different natural orthodontic. But for you to get a very fresh odor that you want that everybody around can enjoy, you have to follow those tips. And tips are the issue of using so that is the first feminine hygiene tip let me tell you something you know this shop using soap they tell you to stop using soap that is not that bad that is a good advice stop using soap but that doesn't mean you shouldn't use soap at all you understand so you have to use fragrant free soap fragrance free soaps is a nice soap that you should use but while using this fragrance free soap you have to be using it outside outside and not inside what you should be using inside is just only clean water let's say like see a very nice water cream water clean water don't use dirty water use clean water to wash inside but outside you should make use of soap taste to keep you fresh you understand so don't say that you can't you won't use soap anywhere around no you can use soap but that should, should be fragrance free soap and while using it it should be only be outside take note only outside but inside should be only water this is to avoid getting irritated because once it gets irritated not only that it will cause infection it will also cause a one kind bad odor and you wouldn't like it and again tip number two see don't wear sweaty or damp clothes down there because once you are wearing it it's going to get it irritated not that it's going to get it irritated it will also make it to smell very bad so avoid damp clothes down there avoid wearing damp clothes be always wearing a dry clothes a clothes that have dry already so that once you are going out air will be you know that place won't be won't be smearing and air will be coming in and tip number three is about to, is about the kind of undies we wear, especially at night and uh, during the day. It should be thick one and not the one that is, um, let's say, the one that is thick. It should be silk. Silk is the perfect one to make it easier for ventilation. Day. So you should be wearing silk contained pants. That is we make it more easier you understand so that you won't be wearing the one that will make it so be crowded and be smearing and tip number four the one that is important that you should take note of is this be eating good food that is the important thing be eating good food and good fruits avoid junk so once you're eating junk it will be making you to smell bad so avoid junk food you should be eating fruit like pineapple watermelon um cranberries apples but the most important fruit is pineapple pineapple is very very important for every woman in Sahara because it will make you to be smelling nice and taste nice have you tried this try this now that you are taking pineapple juice you can just make a juice put it in a blender you understand and also and also take it as a fruit once you put it in a in a as a in a blender you have to blend it after blending it then you take it as a juice or you can just take it as a whole fruit you can add it to your meal all this will help you to smell nice because pineapple is very very important for every woman and tip number five always drink water i don't know how often you drink water and the quantity of water you're drinking a day but always drink water water helps to flush out toxins from the body water helps to wash out any kind of auto dirtiness in our body so always make water your best friend after eating drink water every in the morning once you wake up early in the morning drink water before going to bed at night drink water two cups of water 
in the morning should also be two cups of water after eating drink water always drink water even if you don't feel like always drink water don't feel like your tummy will be big because most girls always scared of getting big stomach but no water will make you get big stomach that is the things we don't normally think about you don't understand so always drink water water will help you to get even that fresh tummy we are right now with that will make you get big tummy no water will get we help you get that fresh stomach and we also flush out toxins from your stomach all those deadness and what is being flushed out from your body you will smell nice you understand you will smell very very nice tip number six use natural deodorant i don't know the kind of deodorants you are using you know once you are using deodorants oh my god some deodorants is chemical content one and they keep us getting irritated you understand use natural deodorant use natural deodorant before you buy any deodorant check the ingredients check what they use in making them don't just buy anything you see use natural deodorant and that is and when, when you're using it don't use it inside you can just use it around you understand around there and tip number seven change your pad or tampon within let me say let it not be more than six hours change it always you know some people they might feel that they don't they are not staying that much and they will wear it for almost 24 hours because it didn't stay much no no matter what no matter how busy you are no matter how it it, it is whenever you are on your period you understand always change it change it within six hours don't wear it more than six hours it will help it will help once you're changing it will help you to feel fresh and it also make you to smell nice and it also prevents getting infected infection can be caused when you wear your pad or tango more than six hours always change it always change it change it within that six hours don't carry it more than six hours so that you can prevent the odor and smell very nice and tip number is always use probiotics or take your goals probiotics you can get it anywhere just ask around or you can even see your doctor for prescription you understand so always use probiotics for you, you know and for your health so that you can get a very nice price made down there that is tip number eight and tip number nine it's advisable to always wear loose pals at night or don't wear any underwear at all while sleeping so that you can allow enough ventilation to enter enough air to hold in and hold out that is how it is always wear loose pants loose underwear at night or don't wear anything okay let me say don't wear anything at all while sleeping only if you are in a crowded place or where many people are only if you are sleeping in a crowded place then you can wear loose one but when going to bed don't wear anything at all or wear loose one that is to allow enough ventilation inside your body enough fresh air entering your body because once it's not entering inside your body it will feel it will feel somehow cloudy and it will be smelling understand that is tip number nine and tip number 10 always pee right say you rename it after meeting your man before and after meeting your man always make sure you pee keep yourself clean before doing it and after doing it always clean yourself and always pee after that you understand so that it can helps to prevent infection from entering your body it also helps to prevent some kind of um, germs from your body so always make sure you pee or urinate after meeting your man it will help you to get the perfect smell and make you not to smell by because that thing smells it smells after doing it it smells if you can just get just stay quiet like let's say just sense it after doing it you will notice that it smells so immediately after doing it go and pee for clean yourself up that is to prevent future infection or future odor it will help you and tip number 11 
the u shape if you're the type that shape then it's very nice if you can't keep yourself clean why bushy why you don't shave then you have to be shaving shave so that you can know what is happening in your body and after shaving make sure you use uh, some a moisturizing oil like coconut oil around but don't put it inside use it around so that that place won't feel irritated so there won't be any razor bone or anything there if you're but if you're the type that don't shave and you just make sure you're keeping yourself neat but if you know you can't keep yourself neat why you don't shave then you have to shave it off then wash your body very very perfect you understand so that's enough so that enough air will be entering after shaving and you can use a moisturizing oil like i said coconut oil rub it there to prevent razor bone and to hydrate the area moisturize the area and make it look neat razor bone is very very irritating my skin is it will just make it as if there is pimples and then so after shaving with a razor make sure you use coconut oil around there and tip number 12 always eat balanced diet healthy foods i have already told you before to avoid junk so i'm telling you to eat balanced diets once you're eating balanced diets it will help to keep you healthy and once you are healthy all your body will be healthy including all the system in your body will be healthy so this tip number 12 is very very important not only for smearing good but for a good health so always eat balanced diet add vitamins to your diet add minerals Add carbohydrates, proteins, oh, it will be very, very good if you're eating it. And fat and oil. Make sure that everything is in that your meal. Eat it to stay healthy and to keep all your body healthy. That is tip number 12. Then tip number 13, use a, a nice deodorizing spirit. It will help you. It will help you. So after shaving, you have to use oil on it before using anything, maybe perfume or the right thing. So always use oil. I prefer coconut oil first before using any That is to prevent odor and to prevent infection. That is tip number 13. And tip number 14, always keep wives with you. Keep alcohol free wives with you. All those ones that contain chemicals, keep it away from you. Keep bring the one that is very very natural, alcohol free one. Bring this with you. Always keep wipes with you. Anything use wipe to wipe it there. Go to your doctor. Your doctor will prescribe a very nice one for you. And that is the one you should be using. Don't use any kind of wipe because some wipe can get it irritated, and you will you won't like it again. It can even create crash. You understand so always get the one that is prescribed by a practitioner especially head practitioner or medical practitioner that they will prescribe the one that will be perfect for your body and tip number 15 that is the final one always wash your body take your bath daily that is the important thing always take your bath daily after walking for the whole day after walking after sweating take your bath take your bath at least two times a day in the morning and in the night and while you're taking your bath after taking your bath use a very clean soil use a very clean soil crystal will help to prevent the odor if you use that tier one it can spread the odor and jams on your body and when there is jams it's because it's, it will make it irritated and cause the odor so always wash your body take your bath take your shower every day every day twice a day at least twice a day then get a nice tour it will help you thanks for watching this video thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video share it with your fellow women it will help them a lot it will go a long way in their lives so like you benefit make others benefit i will be sharing another video soon so stay tuned thanks for watching